Right, let's now head to the London Stadium where the celebrations have begun ahead of the 10-year anniversary of the 2012 Olympic Games. Our senior reporter Garrett Hughes is in East London and uh, he's got some developing news for us. Good afternoon to you, Garrett. What can you tell us? Yeah, David, intriguing news. I was uh, been speaking to the Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan. We were talking about, obviously, the reason why we're down here today. It's 10 years ago. Uh, since the London 2012 Olympics. The actual anniversary is on Wednesday, but there was a ceremony here today where an anniversary frame was lit. Uh, and I asked Khan about some rumours that I've been hearing, potentially about the Olympics coming back to the UK. And Sadiq Khan, well, he didn't dispel those rumours. He see, actively told us on Sky Sports News that uh, his office are now actively working on preparations for whether they will bid for uh, the Olympics to bring them back here to London. Now, the earliest that could be could be 2036 because the next three editions are, are, are booked up. Paris in 2024, Los Angeles four years later, and then Australia and, uh, and Brisbane has all but got the, uh, the 2032 games sewn up. So 2036, but uh, confirmation from the Mayor of, uh, Mayor of London's office that they are preparing now, early stage, uh, but preparing uh, for whether the Olympics could come back here, reuse the venues that were used in London 2012 and bring the, uh, the Olympics back to London for a fourth time. Let's now hear from the Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, on his thoughts. We're bidding for the uh, Football Euros men's in 2028 and we're working on a plan uh, to bring the Olympics back to uh, London. I'll tell you why. Uh, we've seen over the last few days the consequences of climate change in relation to the heat waves in relation to uh, the grass fires that have destroyed 41 properties in uh, London. Uh, what we need is to make sure future games are green. And what we're doing is uh, actually working on a plan to have the greenest games ever, because the great thing about London is you don't need to expend carbon in building new stadiums, uh, new places to do cycling, new places to do swimming, uh, because we've got all the kit. And so watch this space. OK, watch your space. You can't leave me hanging there. How far down the road are you? Is it just you just early discussions or have you got some government support here? Where are you? Well, the next three games are tied up uh, in relation to Paris, uh, L.A. and probably the one after that is going to be Brisbane. in Australia. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we've got some time. Uh, there's no pressure from the IOC. The key thing is to make sure we've got all the building blocks in uh, place. Uh, we'd make record. We'd break a record, by the way. The first city to have four games, which is really exciting. Uh, wouldn't that be great? Uh, and so it's early days uh, yet, but the ambition is uh, there. Uh, and the great thing is to remember the power of sport, not just bringing people together. It's, it's above party politics. It's above North versus South. It's not about color of skin. Uh, and so we've got to engender that, that Olympic spirit in relation to our recovery uh, after the pandemic. But also, yeah, we are working on plans in relation to bringing the Olympics back to uh, London. And as I said, watch this space. There you are. You've heard it there first from the Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan. Uh, the plans are, are in place looking at whether to bid for uh, the Olympics here in London again for, I think it would be the very first time a city would have gone for four Olympic Games, but looking at maybe that date of 2036, potentially a bid. Also been speaking today to a man who starred at the London 2012 Games. He was a flag bearer for Team GB, so Chris Hoy. Also about whether a Games to come back to the UK, to come back to London, his thoughts on that. I just think it was so wonderful for the whole nation. It brought us all together, and I think that's what we need right now is a bit of unity. Um, you know, find a common ground. Sport is a great way to, to bring people together rather than forging divides. And so, yeah, I mean, I, that's the first I've heard of that, but I certainly would be 100% behind it. Of course, the world is a very different place now to what it was 10 years ago, but, you know, let's be positive and look forward and have something to, to aim for. And, and what a great show we put on for the rest of the world. You know, it made us proud to be British to see what we can achieve when we work all on the same side, we push in the same direction, celebrate all the, the amazing talent we have, not just in sport, but you know, across you know, that opening ceremony that Danny Boyle put together. That, that was the moment, I think all the pennies, the penny dropped and everybody, even the, the doubters thought, yeah, this, this is gonna be special and, and we have something to be proud of. A long way to go, as you heard there from Sadiq Khan. It's early days in, in, in any preparation and, and either to any any uh, bid would be submitted to the IOC. Rule of thumb, traditionally about seven years out that a Games is, is, is awarded. So, yeah, some time to go yet. Yeah. But confirmation there from the Mayor of London's office that they are planning, uh, looking at a feasibility study as to whether they could host the Olympics here in London, looking at 2036. Geraint, thank you very much indeed.